Hello guys, Kido here. Today bringing you the best move deck in pool 2. Well, I call this move 2.0 because I have optimized this deck from the last one. If you have not seen that yet, make sure you check the top right hand corner card. I'm gonna put that right there for your reference. Okay, I'm not gonna talk too much about the deck because if you want a more detailed explanation, check out my old video on movement deck. But um, the main guys you want to move is going to be multiple man, voucher, and kind of vision. Yeah, you don't get any benefits from moving this, but um, it can move every turn. So it can buff up your engine like, you know, Craven. The main change that I made to this deck is I swapped out Mouse Morass Spider-Man for America Chavez. And the reason is, um, I find the Spider-Man a little clunky. Because sometimes it actually messes with your curve. That is why I've swapped in America Chavez just to make our draws more consistent. I want to draw into my multiple man. I want to draw into Voucher as much as possible. And America Chavez does such a great job. Now without further ado, let's hop into some games and see how good this deck is. Okay, Death's Domain. This is a very nice one for us. Because we got Nightcrawler, we got a ton of stuff that can move. So, if they don't have anything that can move into Death's Domain, this naked Nightcrawler is going to win it for us. Yeah, I don't like seeing Sunspot. Yeah, sometimes, you know, actually most of the time, they're gonna have something really scary if they got Sunspot. Yeah, I'm talking about Infinite. Yeah, the 20 power is just so annoying. So if you see them skip turn 5, then you have to think, can I beat that 20 power? If you can, you know, stay in, surprise them. But um, if you don't, then I guess you just need to retreat. I'm just gonna drop down my Craven, because, you know, it's the engine. Whenever stuff moves to its location, it's gonna get stronger. Okay, that Hulkbuster. I don't like that at all, because that's going to make its Nightcrawler real strong. So I got to invest more in order to beat him at Death's Domain. Because my Nightcrawler is a little weak. Uh, I guess I'm just going to Doctor Strange right here. That's going to pull our highest power card, which is going to be Voucher, to the mid. Then Craven gets a buff. And of course, Voucher himself gets a buff. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. This is how the move deck functions. Okay, this is the second last turn. That's why I think we definitely need to slap down Cloak. Vision, yeah, he's alright, but um, I think we gotta set up for next turn. Otherwise, we are definitely going to lose. You know what, things are not looking that good for us. So, we'll see if he skips turn 5 or not. We're just gonna throw down our Hulk Buster. Actually, in hindsight, I think the ordering is wrong. I should have put down Hulk Buster first, so it's gonna merge with Nightcrawler. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, it doesn't matter this time. Because his Nightcrawler is going to get this plus two block. I mean, plus two buff from Stark Tower. So, you know, even if Hulk Buster actually merged with my Nightcrawler. It's not enough to beat him. Okay, we gotta solve this puzzle. We can definitely win this, but um... Okay, Nightcrawler glows left into Depth's Domain. And then I'll have to put down my Vision. So, you know, that's gonna be um, 9 power. But how do I get my Vision over there? Alright, I can move stuff over to the Cloak's location. And when you do that, make sure you go for Craven first, because it's the engine. Move that first, and then the other guys move in. Craven gets a ton of buffs. Yeah, that Hobgoblin is annoying, but um, it's okay. We're just gonna forfeit the mid. So, finally I am going to Iron Fist into my vision. That's gonna push my vision to the left. And I can definitely win this. Oh no! I snapped and they counter-snapped. How are they so confident? I don't know, but uh, 
I'm just gonna go through with this. I'm pretty sure after solving that puzzle, I got the win. So I'm gonna give him the GG here and press enter. Okay, as expected, they go for the Nightcrawler to the left. And look at this. A ton of buffs. Then I push my vision to the left, winning Death's Domain. And yeah. No matter how strong he is. Oh, and he misses the Shang-Chi. Sweet. Oopsie. He actually wanted to kill my stuff, but um, he missed. So I won that. GG well played. Yeah, this was a really, really insane game. And that's how the movement deck functions. Okay, turn one, I'm just gonna slap down my Nightcrawler. Ooh, Sanctum Sanctorum. This is actually great for movement decks. Because, you know, we can just move our Nightcrawler in there and we'll win that lane. So if they don't got Nightcrawler, we're going to take that lane very easily. And of course, there's a ton of other ways to move cards, so we can just move anything in there. Yeah, this is a really, really great curve. This is like the best curve you can ever get. Nightcrawler into Multiple Man into Hulkbuster. I mean, if I were you, I would definitely snap here. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't snap. Yeah, that was such a stupid decision not to snap. Oh, I regret it. If I can build a time machine, I'm gonna go back and snap right there. But well, all we gotta do is move our Multiple Man with Doctor Strange. And then we are pretty much gonna win the game. Because this combo is just crazily good. But we're gonna be greedy. We slap down our Craven first. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, we put down Iron Fist. And next turn, maybe we're gonna put down Voucher. Or we're gonna pull with Doctor Strange. Jessica Jones, okay. Okay, okay. It actually is kind of strong, not gonna lie. But I think my play is gonna be stronger. Either Voucher or Doctor Strange. Huh. Remember, the last card I played was Iron Fist, so the next card I'm going to play will be moved to the left. Yeah, I think I'm gonna Doctor Strange here, because I don't want Voucher in the middle. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of overkill if I move Voucher to the mid. So, yeah, I guess Nightcrawler is going to be enough. Do I slap down Forge? I'm actually considering because, you know, the Forge does not benefit me that much and it's going to take up a slot. So, I don't really want it to be that weak. So, you know, I'm not going to play the Forge. And look at that multiple man put by Doctor Strange. And um, we got two multiple mans on the field now. Sadly, we got Hopgoblin. But it's alright, we can just push the right lane. I don't think there's any way they can push power which is higher than us. Yeah, we can just slap down Chavez. But anyways, they retreat and we win the game with ease. GG well played. And yeah, as I said, I should have snapped. Ah. Okay, if you don't know how strong Multiple Man is, you gotta check this out. I turn one Iron Fist, turn two Multiple Man, and um, I actually bring it into Crimson Cosmos, where, you know, you can play low-cost cards there. So, we got Sander, we got Hulkbuster, we're just gonna slap it down, merge with the one on the left. Now, actually in the middle, my bad. But um, they already re they retreated. Because, you know, they see a sender, we're going to be able to move our stuff easily to a sender, and uh, they can't even contest it, and they retreat it. GG well played. Yeah, I know, after that short game, actually a quick victory, you guys are craving for a long and great game. Don't worry, I got you covered. So, I'm not going to Iron Fist first turn, because there's not much I want to move yet. I'm definitely going to slap down my Craven here. So yeah, I'm gonna go left because, you know, cards with the highest power gain plus three. So I can definitely buff this up. Ah, I wonder what they stole with Cable. But um, it's alright. So this hand is not exactly that good now. Ah, I wonder what to do.
Yeah, I definitely want to Iron Fist with Voucher. So, you know, what I could do here is Forge into Iron Fist, then next turn Voucher. So, I got to um, find a way to move to the right. Yeah, but the thing is, I actually need to move stuff to the left as well. So, either way, there are two engines on the board now. One is Craven, one is the Kunlun. Okay, you gotta remember this. If you play Iron Fist, then the next card you play is going to be moved to the left. It doesn't matter which turn it is, you could play Iron Fist turn 1 and then don't play anything. And then until turn 6, you can put down a card, it's still gonna be moved. So, better remember that. Do not miss your Iron Fist. Otherwise, you're gonna look really stupid. Yeah, then your opponents might just laugh at you and snap. Okay, this is the second last turn. And what you usually want to do is uh, slap down your cloak. Then next turn, you will be able to get it. You know, move stuff over and get a quick victory. Um... I definitely need to slap down Hulk, but, um, I don't know. Where should I place it? Hmm. I don't know about the Nightcrawler, though. Yeah, I definitely want to Hulk Buster. That's a lot of power. And I snap right here, because I have the freedom to move next turn. Well, so do they, but, um... We got a little more movement than than they do. Okay, so it's a Kassar Blue Marvel. Thing is, they don't get much on the field. I'm not afraid of him at all. Yeah, I think this is a very easy victory because the Kassar does not even buff much. They only buff the little ninja. And you know, Blue Marvel only buffs four guys. So... Yeah, I'm just going to move Voucher to the right, and then place down my Chavis. That should guarantee me the victory. Yeah, at this rate, I might even win all three lanes. So yep, the final stakes is four cubes. Are they going to, you know, let it run? Come on. Huh. Okay, okay. Let's regroup. I'm gonna stack everything to the right and then um just win the middle. Can we do that? Yep. Wow, I actually made such a great play. He actually stacked the left lane and I gave that up. So I'm pretty sure it's GG. Yeah, Scroll Girl is not gonna save you, because in the mid, you don't have enough to win. Yeah, they stacked and went for Iron Man. That was actually a great play on my part, moving everything to the right to win mid and right. So, Chi Chi, well played. This is the power of movement decks. You move around, outsmart your opponent, and get easy victories. They are confident, but um, they lose four cubes. With those example games, you guys will see how strong movement deck is. This is the optimized version, so even if you don't got the Miles Morales Spider-Man, it's okay. Because sometimes I find it a little too, too clunky. Because, you know, your curve is not exactly the worst. That's why you don't need Miles Morales Spider-Man to help you curve well. You can just get rid of it and go for America Chavez, making your draws a lot more consistent. Yeah, because you really want to draw your multiple man or your voucher. Otherwise, your deck it's not going to function that well. That is why the consistency is golden. When you are playing this deck, make sure you make use of those locations that move cards. Sometimes you can play cards there. Whenever you play cards, you destroy them. So what do you do? You move your stuff over. Just do the calculations. Are they going to be able to move stuff over? If yes, then um, you need to calc. How much do I need to move over to win? But if not, then easy, just move your Nightcrawler over, and they will be toast. The moral of the story is to outsmart your opponents with your movement. 
Yeah, you have the freedom to move, and they don't. So, you know, you're just playing your cat and mouse. Easy win. Sometimes, no matter what they do, they can win because you have the freedom to move your stuff around. Bait them to commit to one lane, then you can pull your stuff to another lane and win those games. Yeah, you might not have enough power, or you know, as much power as they do, but you can outsmart them to win two lanes of your choice. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, make sure to leave a like, comment, sub to the channel for free, so you never miss out on awesome Marvel Snap videos that guides tips and tricks just like this. Now have a great day, and peace out.